what is happening across the country is completely new to all of us and it's impacting us in different ways. With that in mind, we want to share a story from a former co-worker of ours in the KSAT 12 Sports Department. Four years ago, a St. Mary's University undergrad named Tyler Dudley worked with us as a temp for big game coverage during high school football season. It was that experience that helped her determine what she wanted to do after college, and that was pursue sports journalism. After St. Mary's, she graduated from Syracuse University and has been working in New York City ever since. It was a great experience, and I got to see the complete other side, opposite side of sports. I saw the production side of things and the ability to be on camera and help tell athlete stories, and that really made me kind of change my career path. Um, so then I went to Syracuse, and I decided to pursue that passion for the sports production world and being on camera. And then from Syracuse, I kind of realized that if I wanted to attempt to break into the sports industry as a female, being as competitive as the industry is to begin with, um, I knew that New York City was going to be my best bet. Dudley works for a tech-first sports publishing company in digital media. She's been living in Brooklyn since she left Texas and gave an inside look at what it's been like since the coronavirus hit the tri-state area. Schools are shut down, so you don't hear kids in the afternoon or in the mornings walking to and from school anymore, so that's a little weird. Um, the streets are definitely empty, and I try to get some like fresh air at least to keep myself sane, but when you step outside, the air feels different. It definitely has a completely different vibe, and you go to stores and you just, you can feel that everyone is uneasy and very on edge. While Dudley has been fortunate to work from home during this crisis, her family back home in El Paso have not been as fortunate. Um, I have everything that I need here at home. Um, my family, on the other hand, in El Paso, they're not as lucky. Um, my sister, my mom, my aunts, my uncles, they've all been hit really, really hard with this. And they all don't have jobs right now, and there's really no telling when they're going to go back. From the East Coast to the West Coast now, a San Antonio native named Christine Chapa was overseas earlier this month. She was actually running in a marathon in eastern Siberia when the virus started to spread. While it didn't alarm her at first, things quickly turned during her vacation as she visited different nations. People were acting normal there, but after that travel ban got announced that day on March 12th over there, that's when sort of everyone did go into a panic mode. The the, the people that live there were getting texts from their government asking them to stay home, don't go out, warning them against all that. And then the all the temples and the Acropolis and museums, they were all shut down. No one could go into those. And then what, what did sort of, what I did kind of think was alarming were that armed guards were starting to show up at different places in the city. So after I saw that, I just thought, okay, I'm, vacation's over. I'm definitely ready to go home now. This is real. We've seen how ugly things can get when it comes to how people behave, but we've also seen the good. One of those things has been the way people communicate with each other in a time of crisis. The calendar is probably a little more booked up now that we're under a lockdown than, than it was previously. And maybe a silver lining in all of this is I'm actually speaking to my family a lot more than I did before this happened. Uh, I've lived in San Francisco for, I think, over eight years now. And with the coronavirus situation happening, we're now having a daily Google Hangout. And, and I've never spoken to them as much as I have now. You can read more about Miss Dudley and Miss Chapa and their perspectives of what is happening in New York City and San Francisco. Just go to the instant replay page of KSAT.com.